and we're back. And this, this is the Samsung Chromebook Plus V2. So here we have it. The Samsung Chromebook 3 was a real big hit for Samsung. And this one I expect to be a big hit as well. This is the Samsung Chromebook Plus. Let's get straight into this. Let's take out the unboxing. Simple box. And I think that's great. Because you know what? I'd rather have more Chromebook than a fancy box. And this one seems like it's a lot of Chromebook for a plus version. You got a nice Samsung charging brick. Bang, USB type C. Now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna check this out. We're gonna power it up and really check out what this Chromebook is like. But I'm gonna take it to work and really put it to use. The way this is feel, this is rich. Wow. Look at this, a very similar build to the Chromebook Plus and the Chromebook Pro of last year, this Chromebook Plus V2, we gotta put to the test. So it's been several days of using the Samsung Chromebook Plus. This is the second version and I gotta say, this is a definite improved Samsung Chromebook Plus. I'm definitely impressed. Now Samsung has gone with the basically the same build. Nice aluminum field, Samsung logo right there in Chrome and the grayed out Chrome logo really looks good. You got the hinges, same way, little bit of a, of a difference when it comes to the button placements and the S Pen. But other than that, really the same setup as last year's version except for the guts this is a definite improved chromebook plus going in with intel processor with four gigs of ram the intel celeron with four gigs of ram is a definite improvement over an arm processor two megabytes of cache storage and that makes a difference and i'm going to tell you this Anyone that got the Samsung Chromebook Plus can't watch YouTube videos 1080p 60 or even 720p 60 because those videos will be too much for the device. This Chromebook right here, you can watch 1080p 60. So that tells you it has a little bit more power to handle an extra load. That's why this Chromebook is gonna be better in gaming compared to last year and is gonna be a better overall performer than last year's Chromebook. First of all, let's talk about some stuff here. Last year, Samsung Chromebook Plus had a more punchier screen than this screen. This screen is a little bit over 1080p and they went a little bit backwards, but it's worth it. This screen, you're not gonna miss the higher resolution screen, but what you gain in performance by having a lower res screen is so better of a trade-off for the better experience. This is a 12.3 inch 1920 by 1200 display. And this is a sweet spot between having just enough and having enough. This is enough screen, enough color representation, good color representation on this. It's a good screen that it doesn't matter what angle you have it on, you're gonna pretty much see the screen really good. It gets bright enough so that if you're in a coffee shop and you know when that sun is shining in, you can still see what's going on in front of you. This is absolutely impressive screen. I'm really impressed with this. The only thing that's really different in the terms of the build quality is having this extra 13 megapixel camera. And I gotta say, this 13 megapixel camera is serviceable. Now we all know they're not gonna put the best camera on a tablet. Most people are not even gonna even use it. But in a pinch, you got this camera to take photos or anything like that in a pinch. And I think 13 megapixels is enough. And I think this camera is doing pretty good. What's disappointing is the camera app. The camera app needs to be touched up a little bit. There is some issues and some slowdowns and lag in with the camera app. But other than that, this Intel Celeron 
with four gigs of RAM seems to be enough power to get you through your day using this as a Chromebook. And if you're using it for the Google Play Store, playing games and getting stuff done, you can easily get through with the four gigs of RAM and that extra megabyte of cache going from one to two megabytes of cache really makes a big difference. And you're gonna see that in the gaming and in the multitasking. Now the keyboard. The keyboard has pretty much stayed the same from what I remember. But I gotta say, it, this is a very good keyboard. Very good keyboard with a good jump back. Really feels good when you're pressing the keys. And this trackpad. I know I raved about this trackpad in the last review of the Chromebook Plus. The problem was the Chromebook Plus of last year just didn't have enough power. It is a ARM processor. I'm a little bit leery about the processor. Four gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, and it has one megabyte of cache. I'm a little concerned about that. This is a fantastic trackpad with no lag, good press, good taps, because a lot of people don't like to press, they like to tap. But either or, you're gonna have a good experience with this keyboard and trackpad combination. The main camera would be your front facing camera for your Hangouts calls, Skype calls, or whatever different call and app you use. The front facing camera is gonna be the camera you use the most. This camera is a one megapixel camera. So basically, they've gone backwards from last year's camera, which gave you 720p. That's more like 360p. Not a good front-facing camera. But if you're on that Hangouts call, you're gonna have to make a compromise and you might have to handle the call in some type of other way by using this 13 megapixel camera. That'll bump up your resolution and you'll have a better conference call using this camera right here, which is at 13 megapixels. It's not the best camera, but it's surely better than this one megapixel camera. And I checked out the specs thoroughly and it says one megapixel. It's that bad. It looks like a one megapixel camera. So this Chromebook with its Celeron processor, four gigs of RAM, two megabytes of cache makes a difference. And the reason why I'm mentioning the cache because if you make a mistake and you pay $4.99 for last year's version, you're gonna have lesser performance, but you're gonna have a better screen, but not good performance. I'd rather have a little bit less and have more performance, and you're gonna get that here with this one, which costs the same price as last year. The Chromebook Plus V2 and the Chromebook Plus from last year is the same price going on right now. So you're making a little compromise from last year to this year, but don't compromise performance. This is a better performing Chromebook. And when it comes to battery life, battery life was impressive last year. I would say you're getting a little bit more when it comes to battery life with this Chromebook right here. If you use it with full brightness and you're watching a lot of video content, yeah, you might die around five, maybe six hours at the most. Samsung has been touting on these Chromebooks around 10 hours of battery life, give or take. You're not even gonna reach eight hours. But if you use it really casually, bring your brightness down, and you're not really stressing it with too much video, you can get a good six and a half, I would say a definite seven hours if you keep it conservative with this Chromebook. Scrolling through your social networks, once you have a pretty good internet speed, it's going to be very good on this Chromebook. Here's the intangible, is the S Pen. This is the plus in the Chromebook Plus. Look at that. Immediately pops up, create screenshot, create a note, laser pointing, and magnifying glass. If I click magnifying glass, look at that. The bubble comes up and I can see the smaller text a little bit larger. So for those people who have issues looking at a screen, you're gonna love this. This is how easy you can use this S Pen. Very functionable, very usable S Pen. So if you're a Note fan, you're gonna really love having a Chromebook, having a computer with an S Pen. For the so many uses, you can use the S Pen. 
Imagine how hard it is to take a screenshot on a computer because most people forget which keys to press when all you got to do is pull out your S Pen and bang, you got your screenshot. This is a very improved Chromebook for many reasons and they fixed a lot of the problems from last year. But you're just taking a little bit of a step back when it comes to the front facing camera. It's not good. But other than that, this is a fantastic Chromebook for the price and this year it's worth the price and this year without a shadow of a doubt I recommend it. So what